So, it's Friday, November the 13th, and I just finished my morning training. And I'm about to go outside to uh, Mama's to get some deep because I just got home, I took a shower, and now we're going to go outside and get a nice little bite to eat because it is very hot outside. Whoa! Hello? Hello? No, stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay. That's good. Stay there. I'm good. I'm good. Wow, that was very interesting. <laughs> um, those are the workers that are working on, uh, there's a lot of construction going on here. So they are working on some construction. But uh, I'm gonna stand right here. I think you guys will be able to see me okay. Whew. All right. Wow, that was weird. I just walked out of my room and there were four women lying on the ground. Um, it's not weird because I understand because right now it's about 196,721 degrees outside. So I do understand why they need to take, uh, take uh, shelter. Um, but I feel bad because I got air conditioning in my room, man. I should like get them all in there and let them relax. But then again, when I get there, who knows what will happen. Anyways, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a, a lowdown on what's happening with the luggage. Because it's Friday the 13th and I still have no luggage. But I want to tell you something. This morning before my yoga, or after yoga actually, I actually went and called Air China again. So for all of you who don't know what happened, and I'm going to say this right out loud. So you airlines, I want you to hear this, okay? Um, I, I took a flight from Canada to Toronto to New York, and then my American Airlines left my bags in New York while I was going to China. And that started a whole domino effect of me missing my plane to Bangkok and having to take another one and being detained. You guys got the picture from some of the old, older ones, so you pretty much got a feel for it. So anyway, so it's been a week and I've been trying to call and uh, China or Bangkok or Thailand because there's three different places that, have my, that could have my luggage. So all the different airports or all the different airlines because airports and airlines are totally different. So I've been calling, but this morning I woke up, you know, it's Friday the 13th and just to let you guys know, 13 is my favorite number. Like that is my all time favorite number. And the fact that it's Friday the 13th is even luckier for me. Like at Friday the 13th is a lucky day for me. So what I did was I, I, I took the initiative and I said, you know what, I'm getting my, I'm getting my bags today. Today, my bags are coming here. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So what did I do? Uh, I, I called, I called Air China. First of all, I called Bangkok. They didn't know where it was. I called Phuket Airport. They didn't know where it was. So I went to the source, Air China, because I knew that my flight, my bag was on a flight. And lo and behold, they have my bags. China has my bags, Beijing. So Air China is cool though because they actually told me what flight my bags are going to be on that go to Bangkok and that's going to be in about an hour because right now it's 12.30 and in an, oh, in a, you know what, in a half hour. So my bags are actually probably being hoisted onto the plane as we speak. Like right now, my bags are going on the plane. Yep, bags on the plane. Beautifully nestled, cuddling beside other bags. I'm so happy, you know, because um, it takes five hours to get to Bangkok, so there's a five-hour flight to Bangkok. Once it's there, then they're gonna they're going to make sure that um, it gets on to Air Thailand or Thailand Airlines or whatever. And I'm, I will call to make sure. And they're gonna deliver it to Phuket. And not only are they gonna deliver it to Phuket, but they're gonna deliver it right to you guessed it, Tiger Muay Thai. That's right. So I'm happy. As you can see, I'm very happy. I had a great yoga session in the morning. The moral of the story is oh, sorry. The moral of this whole story is the luggage. You have to be persistent. Keep calling. You have to be positive, because that's what I was, positive. And you gotta take initiative on anything in life. Like, with my luggage, I stayed positive all week, man. I could have just buckled. I didn't buckle. I stayed persistent. I called them every day. Where's my luggage? Where's my luggage? See, I, this was the first day I actually got through to Air China. And third, take initiative, man. Don't just sit here and wait for the luggage to get here. Go get it yourself. Go make sure that it gets here, right? So take initiative. Be persistent and stay positive. And stay positive. Nothing, life isn't that bad that you can't stay positive. So all you people out there, do, if there's something that's bothering you today or there's something that you, you want to get done, do it. Stop yapping and stop making excuses and just get it done. If it's, you know, putting something, if it's putting uh, the, uh, the lights up for Christmas, then put the lights up for Christmas. Stop crying. 
Get off your ass. Peace. I'm out.